This initiative was born out of my considerable cycling experience and expertise, which I accumulated commuting thousands of miles in and around London over many years. My research expertise, along with my colleagues, whereby we look at attention and perception and decision making in complex sporting environments, and importantly, being a parent. And it's really that which has caused me to think about how dangerous urban roads are, not just for children, but also for adults as well. Cycling poses unique and interesting attentional, perceptual and cognitive demands on the cyclist, like practically no other environment, certainly on urban roads. And my colleagues and I are drawing on our considerable expertise in attention, perception and decision making to see if we can improve young cyclists and adult cyclists' ability to detect and perceive hazards. And we're mostly doing that by illustrating to them how they can allocate their attention more effectively. So we use eye tracking a lot, for example, to see where our participants are looking and to guide their gaze towards appropriate aspects of the visual environment such they can pick up more information and consequently make more informed decisions about what they should do. And there are many ways in which we can do that. We're using a variety of techniques, including immersive reality and virtual reality as well as a whole host of psychological measures. Our overall aim is to increase the safety of cyclists by focusing on the psychology of cycling. Is it safe to proceed? As a parent of two young boys, I've been reflecting on when I might feel comfortable to allow my sons to go by themselves on urban roads on a bicycle. And that's a very difficult decision that lots of parents have to face on a regular basis. When I was about 10, 11 years of age, I was about to go to secondary school and my parents were quite adamant that they wouldn't want me to cycle the few miles to school. And I understand from years of cycling on very busy roads why they didn't want me to do it. It caused me to think about what might get me to a position where I would feel comfortable that my sons could get on a bike and I wouldn't be unduly worried about them because they would be able to look around them to see what's happening and to use the right kind of body language on a bike and to make the right kinds of decisions so as to maximise their safety and enjoy a very wholesome activity to be engaging in. And one of our drivers uh, for this project is to increase the number of cyclists who are cycling safely on Britain's roads, not least children. Mm -hmm.